inviting me here today. Um, I know a lot of times people look at law enforcement as being uh, looked up to and being heroes, but uh, law enforcement needs their heroes too. And I know that we always look to fire department to get us out of trouble when we get into trouble, when we get injured. And um, I remember hearing uh, the interviews from 9-11 of the victims that had come out of the World Trade Center. And one of the victims said that he was stumbling down the stairs, climbing out of the building. And the firemen were passing him, going upstairs, taking two steps at a time, running into certain danger and that how that made him feel you know uh, very proud and so I'd like to thank the fire department and um, the New York fire department for all that they did thank you again I'd like to thank all of you for coming today making this as an important as to me as it is to all of the veterans the residents and it's amazing to see uh, we had a football coach at Lennox that used to say the front runners the front runners that used to sit up in the bleachers and criticize every football play you did or every tackle you made and it's amazing that those front runners aren't here today to help support the same people that give them the opportunity to make the negative comments to make the dirty comments to make the evil comments and, and play down the role that these people do every day. And I'm honored to be in the mayor of the city because we have one of the finest police departments that stands and protects the city on a daily basis and we could walk into a room protecting someone else's rights and may not be able to go home to their fi family, as is our fire department. They could walk into a building and not know if they're gonna come out. And reality hit the other night, all week, I guess it was adding up to September 11th, was that movie called um, World Trade. I don't know if most of you saw it, about the two Port Authority officers that were trapped in this building and mouth full of dirt, teeth, barely living on, but they kept talking to each other, talking to each other. Come on, we're gonna, if you die, I'm gonna die. You gotta talk to me. And at the end, you saw a soldier who was off duty. I didn't catch the whole reason why he was there. He started looking for him. And then another soldier came up and started looking for him. And then you saw when they found him, how everybody came together. And that's how I see Hawthorne, with our fire department, our police department, our neighboring agencies. And just a year ago, uh, LA County Fire Department, which I see him not as LA County, I see him as Hawthorne's family, saved my life. They saved my life and I'm indebted to them as they've saved everyone. So it's important to not listen to the front runners. You know, we have a great city, we have a great community. And those will be punished that continue to bring us down or try to hurt us. We shouldn't deal with that. We shouldn't worry about that. Let's look at the positive. Let's look at all these hardworking Hawthorne employees, our public works guys, our animal control, our business license, our attorney's office. These are people that believe. And when they believe, they keep Hawthorne strong. And that's our, our commissioners. There's so much to say to you, but September 11th didn't teach us the lesson. We're right back to where we started again right being negative, evil, nasty, vicious people. But September 11th will never be forgotten. And before I close and I ask, I think it's Pastor Vesquez to come forward. On ch in church on Sunday, they usually give out these pamphlets and there's always a prayer or something quoted. And this really stuck to my heart. And I'm gonna leave you with this when I ask the pastor to come forward. My soul still remembers and sinks within me. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I hope through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not, and they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God bless you. God bless America. I give thanks to my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. One nation under God, indivisible. Thank you, Mayor, that uh, it's, it's great to be here with that men are st that aren't afraid to stand up and, and say one nation under God. Uh, it's great to stand up here and, and say thank you to the firemen of Hawthorne, amen? Let's give them a hand clap. And the police and the sheriffs, let's give them a hand clap.
the rescue, the VFW, and our soldiers. Let us not forget our soldiers who are over there. Uh, I have a daughter that's been over there uh, on two, two terms, and my brother's been over there three times. We all have family and loved ones, and I just want to give praise to God. As What an introduction to me to come in, I, to be honored to, uh, to close us in prayer, but for what the mayor said, that we haven't learned much, have we? But in God's word, it says, if my people, in 2 Chronicles 7.14, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and turn from their ways and pray, then I will hear them and I will heal their land. We live in the greatest nation of the, uh, in the world. And uh, um, do I have two minutes? Can I share something real quick? Uh, I, I just want to share my feelings of what God has given me. Who is an American? I am an American, came the cry. From the revolution, the rally cry was heard. With stars and stripes as the eagle soared, freedom and liberty came the word. One nation under God. One nation, land of the free, was changed forever on September 11th from sea to shining sea. As towers turned to rubble, our families dried their eyes. The anguish of a nation took count of wasted lives. Like the phoenix from its ashes, true Americans did arise and united to help the wounded and comfort her children's cries. Who is, who is an American the world wanted to know? Listen to my story and feel our spirit grow. From Washington to Lincoln, our young men have died for freedom, for justice, American pride. Through battle to battle, young mothers have cried. The saddest of our own darkest night, the Civil War, brother and brother died in that fight. Fighting each other, they were too blind to see. God founded America so all could be free. The Christian, the Muslim, the Buddhist, and all, the Aborigine, Hindu, and all men stand tall. Free from the bondage of slavery and fright, that man may praise God. Black, yellow, yellow, black, and white. That's all I'll read of this, but, you know, God made this country. He founded this country, and we stood on biblical principles. And I pray one day that we'll come back to that. I pray one day that men and women will, won't be afraid to stand and put prayer back into our schools. I pray that one day that men and women will stand for something again, because anybody can fall for anything. But stand like these men. Stand like our, our police officers and our firemen and our soldiers that stand proud to be an American. One nation under God. Let us go to the Lord and give thanks. Father God, I just thank you and praise you for this wonderful opportunity to serve you, Father God. I praise you, Lord, for a mayor of this city, Lord, that, that believes and has faith in you. I thank you for our president who has faith, Father God, and prays in front of the nation, Father, for our country and our soldiers. Though we not, may not believe in everything that he does or says, Father God, he is our leader, and we stand behind him this day. And we thank you for this day, Father God. We thank you that we got to see another day. And Lord, let us share our hope and our love of this country to others, Father God. We thank you for this day, Lord. Bless our soldiers and bring them home safely, Father God. Bless those who have lost their loved ones, Father God, and comfort them, Father God, as the widows weep, Father, and the children are fatherless, Father. Be a father unto them as you are unto us. And we cry out to you, save this country. Bless us once again that we may bring glory to you. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Please make the announcement. I do want to invite everybody here back to our church, Ocean Gate Baptist Church. We're serving breakfast from 12, from, we serve breakfast from 6 to 12, and we'll be serving lunch from 12 to 5. You're all invited. God bless you. And I can't uh, go without giving special thanks to Rosalinda Martinez for her hard work putting this together. <laughs> Tom Quintana, Larry Bender, and one of the finest cable television channels that I know, Channel 22 and all of their staff. Thank you. Have a great day. We hope to see you at lunch.